It was May of 2004. Louisville was feeling the pain, the pain of paying $2 for a gallon of gas. How frustrating is it for you when you have to go fill your car up? <clears throat> I'll plead the fifth on that one. It wasn't just hard on drivers, it was hard on the city budget. Will it average $2? Will it average $2.50? Budgets fuel for city vehicles at $1.40 per gallon. Over a year, every penny added to that average will cost an additional $27,000. In other words, if gas leveled off at the current $2 a gallon for the next year, it would cost the city and taxpayers an additional $1.6 million just on gas. If we lock it in at $1.80, so that's, that's 40 more pennies, times $27,000, you do the math and you see the effect that it has on the budget. Public Works Director at the time, Jim Adkins, said he was familiar with the unpredictable. I don't know how many times it's going to snow next year, but I have to budget for what I think is probably going to happen in this community with regard to that. Well, it's the same with fuel. In August of 2005, some Louisvillians were contemplating getting TARC bus passes just to avoid the pump. $25 a month if you get a bus pass, so you can't beat that. I'd, I'd much rather drive, but it, financially right now, I just can't do it. I mean, I just it's just impossible. But most commuters decided to stay behind their own wheel. People call in for a lot of tips on how to get the most out of their investment, but it really hasn't changed their driving behavior. Fast forward to July of 2006, drivers kept seeing gas prices just shooting up. At this BP station off of 65, you'll pay 309 a gallon all the way up to 329. And people here say the high cost of gas is forcing them into a low cost lifestyle. Some had to carpool to make ends meet. If I have to go to work at a certain time and she has to be there, I will try to make sure we only use one vehicle. Others cut back on extra expenditures thinking hard about those wants versus the needs. Just because I see something on sale as far as clothes or something is concerned, I don't get it. Or really just really, really comes down to fast food. Why you spend money on a lot of fast food. So, you know, I try to cook a lot more now. And it was summer, but many vacations were put on the chopping block. Not this year, it, it cut me back this year. So hopefully next year, Lord's willing, that I can fill up the car, you know, and, and go out of town, go somewhere nice and stuff. A few even pondered getting rid of the car altogether. I'm thinking about selling my car and buying one of them little razzes or something. <laughs> May 2007, gas prices shot to nearly $4 a gallon. The cell phone company Cricket ran a sponsored event trying to give drivers some relief. At 99 cents, people came early. When did you get here last night? 11.22. P.M. P.M. They sat in long lines. They even attempted to bribe their way into the 200 that got the tickets for gas. But some people was like trying to cut line and everything, trying to buy tickets and everything. But, yeah, like once they already hand them out, people was like coming through trying to offer us like if we would sell our tickets to them. But scalping gas tickets. Scalping gas tickets. Who would have thought it? Still, good things came to those who waited. It cost $145 to fill this thing up, and every penny saved is a penny earned. Con for context, here's a look at the current gas prices in Kentucky. Right now, the average price for a gallon of gas in the Commonwealth sits at $4.20.